Hi, today we're going to be taking a look at the FreeScan Pombo, a powerful metrology grade handheld 3D scanner by Shining 3D. The FreeScan Combo utilizes two light sources, infrared vessel and blue laser. It has an impressive volumetric accuracy of 0.02 millimeters, as well as a resolution of 0.05 millimeters. It's quite compact, measuring just 193 by 63 by 53 millimeters, and weighing in at just 620 grams. Its carrying case is also quite compact and it's fitted with padded compartments allowing for secure transportation. The FreeScan combo can be used for reverse engineering, adaptive engineering, and inspection. To facilitate in those applications, it offers four scanning modes, 13 pairs of diagonally crossed lines for global scanning, seven parallel laser lines for fine detail scanning, as well as a single blue laser line to obtain deep hole data. It also has an infrared light source for rapid scanning without the need to use markers, and a wide field of view to take in large areas all at once. When scanning with blue laser, you can switch between the three available modes on the fly. As with most scanners by Shining 3D, the FreeScan combo is fitted with buttons, allowing you to adjust the brightness, zoom in and out on the screen, and start and pause your scan all with the press of a button. But to demonstrate the FreeScan combo's prowess, we'll be scanning this blower with blue laser light. Mid-scan will pause and perform partial HD scanning, which can only be performed on a selected area after scanning data for that area has already been collected. Blue laser scanning does require the use of tracking markers, and as you can see, I've covered the blower with both 6mm and 3mm tracking markers, which are both equally well read by the FreeScan combo. The calibration board is quite a bit more compact. There's a little indicator up at the top pointing up, so I immediately know which way to position the calibration board. And just like with every other Shining 3D product, tap on the button to start. All right, and that was it. We'll be selecting laser mode. I'm immediately offered the option of scanning markers so I could create a global marker file. I'm not gonna do that. That would be more for when I'm scanning a very large object. And as this is a smaller object, there's no need for me to create a global marker file. Plus the object is covered in markers, so it would be somewhat redundant. And from here, I'll start scanning with my 13 parallel diagonally crossed lines, 26 lines in total, multi-line global scanning mode. And this is going to allow me to take in a whole lot of data all at once. A little bit further down the road, we'll switch over to some of the other modes that are available to us so that you can take a look at what scanning with them is like. Let's get to it. While scanning, you do need to try and keep the scanner about 300 millimeters away from the object. The software itself does an incredible job of displaying whether or not you're maintaining tracking, whether or not you're uh, too close or too far away from the object that you're scanning. All right, let's pause there. So we'll look at what we have. I'll go ahead and create a cutting plane. Raise it up a little bit, hit apply. I'll go back to my cutting plane. I'm gonna delete my plane because I won't need it for my next scan. Hit X to confirm. I'm going to uh, turn this on its side. The trick here is that I'm going to need to slowly start scanning an area where I've already acquired data so that the scanner can align the previously acquired data with the data that I'm about to acquire. You can see that it lined up just like in the alignment window. We'll pause. I'll clean up the table data. Looks good. Now I'm going to come over to the Black & Decker logo. I'm going to use my middle mouse button to zoom in a little bit. I'll hit confirm. And it'll click to center this a little bit more so that I can see what I'm doing. We'll pause and let's take a look at what we have. Okay, this looks good. So for those areas where you need to collect a more refined representation of whatever it is you're scanning, you can switch over to partial HD scanning mode. That'll allow you to acquire a more finely detailed scan. At this juncture, we're ready to hop on over to mesh optimization. In my filtering options, I'll switch over to standard and I'll hit apply. So looking at our final result, that looks amazing. So that was laser scanning with the free scan combo. 
a metrology grade handheld scanner by Shining 3D. As its name would suggest, the FreeScan Combo is a hybrid scanner. Aside from carrying superb laser scans, it also allows you to perform quick marker-free scanning through infrared vocel. Additionally, it offers a dedicated outdoor mode, allowing you to reliably collect data regardless of outdoor lighting conditions. That's all for our introduction to the FreeScan Combo. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to write to us at info at umax.com. In addition to the FreeScan Combo, we also have a wide selection of scanners available on our website, umax.com. If you found this video helpful, please hit like and subscribe. It helps us know that the content we're creating interests you. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.